Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Equestrian War. I'm your host, Mr. Kingdom of Wars and a Lover, but right now we're still doing some focuses, and we're doing the industrialization issue. Even before the Stem King's Wars, our nation was woefully lacking in machinery, instead reliant on cottage industries and outdated factories. Under our new plan, we can restructure our industry to properly utilize machine tools and modern production lines methods. But I did want to do this before we finish all those other focuses that, with Cherub Terra here, they're led by the Lunar Dominion, Lightning Charm, they're allied, of course, with. Uh, uh, the Lunar Empire, which is not great, or maybe not bad for us, but at the same time, their focus is literally on the questions of war. So we are actually okay for now. We will have a while before anything bad really happens, maybe, which is pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. So with these guys all busy, busy, busy over there, we have more time to actually make sure that we actually have seven divisions of that are not too poor quality yet. But I did want to bring that up with you because I've not seen that yet before, which is actually really cool to see. But we'll continue doing the refitter defenses, joint training exercises, fortify the Minuk or Minuch. Of course, these three as well. Um, we're not going to do paramilitary guerrillas, but we'll definitely do strike up a deal because it's more defense, defense of core territory. In order to defend our nation, it may be necessary to reach out to the more tame anti monarchist elements in order to organize a united front against the invaders. And. Uh, so we'll see. Um, we might have to force Trip here to do stuff, but synthetic resources. Fuel is the lifeblood of a modern economy, essential to modern military. We lack natural oil, but there are hippogriff refining companies that can provide enough or produce enough oil to keep things running. Perhaps we should offer them a contract. Uh, let's go here and do non line first. And then opening up mining. There's a wealth of untapped minerals laying right beneath our hooves. Utilizing hippogriff expertise and logistics, we could expand our mining operations throughout the lowlands and nearly doubling our current output. Resource rights for technology. Hippogryphia is willing to provide us with technical knowledge and training in various scientific fields. In exchange, they want temporary resource extraction charters. This could be an opportunity for us to narrow the scientific gap between our nations. Invest in radio. Investing in FM radio would not only be a boon to our military's cohesion, but would also allow us to easily broadcast information to our rural citizens. And, ooh, for technology? Long range detection completely changes the way we look at warfare. Our military minds are insistent on investing in these new technology as it gives us a way to peel through the fog of war. <clears throat> Formalized cooperation. Hippogriff's extensive aid has earned them a great deal of goodwill from our people. But many already seen them as their protectors, or even allies. Perhaps since their economic interests align with ours, it's time to take a step towards making this reality. And then tax corpor corporations. The great rebuilding initiatives have been spearheaded by foreign investors and businesses. Their tax breaks allow them to build strong enterprises that have expanded our industry. Now that growth is stabilized, it's time to implement a more pro appropriate tax policy. And rebuilding the complete re rebuilding complete. It's taken a long and arduous path, but thanks to our efforts, we have taken the whole the rubble that the Storm King left behind and built into a new nation. Now we stand proud for our children who will grow up in a new, modern realm. The Slave Raid. We have received word from the units on the Cherub Terran border that their legionaries have begun a lightning raid, descending with ruthless precision upon our border patrols and making a beeline for sparsely defended civilian settlements. Within an hour, they can reach the settlement and kidnap our citizens. We can scramble reports to attempt to hold them off, or we're going to withdraw, we think we can't defeat them. In order to evacuate army, we should fight them here. Well, let's see how well we do. He's pretty good at defense, 13%. More max entrenchment, recon bonus when entrenched. They're not even. They have no divisions over here too. I'm going to assume that they sent all their divisions over to Equestria, but then again, we have no knowledge in them, so uh, I'm kind of okay with this. If they, they can't do anything here, you know, I'm totally okay with this. Can we actually repel their forces? Maybe, maybe. I was doing the final sweep right now too. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Oh, they did have a division. They do have some forts. Eight divisions still only. Oh, the Raiders defeated. Look at that. The Cherub Terran Raiders have been beaten back, defeated by on the field by our brave soldiers. We've captured a few prisoners of war, but no pony can give us any information about whether, where or when the Cherub Terrans will attack again, and no pony high ranking enough to be useful as a bargaining chip still. We can congratulate our soldiers on a job well done. Awesome. Awesome. That's actually really cool that we actually were able to defeat them the first time through, which is very, very great. Even though we still don't have enough divisions, but you know what? Whatever. It is what it is. Integrate a long distance. Stuff, not bad, not bad. Go and train them too. And we'll go grab some hydraulic drills or maybe some proliferation of servo me mechanisms. Roads from the sea, along with much of its consumer goods, were then imports nearly a quarter of its military equipment from Hippogriffia. Ensuring the safe transportation of these goods is of the utmost importance. Fortunately, we can accommodate for any disruptions by refitting our ports to integrate them with more existing sequestering logistic infrastructure network and expanding the capacity of our coastal railroads, which is pretty darn nice, not gonna lie. Hippogriffia agrees, though. The Hippogriffs accepted our proposal, and soon will be agreed, soon agree on a site. Once the troops arrived, they began to practice engagements with the Hippogriffs. As the troops mixed in with each other, were Zen and forces initially underperformed, but the Hippogriffs were more than happy to teach them, with playful banner on both sides. Our soldiers came away with the games with a better understanding of modern warfare, a new appreciation for the Hippogriffs and their unique culture, and a viable learning experience. Cool. As you see, we are getting ready currently. 
Hopefully we can hold off the enemies. You know, we've only three divisions here, but uh, we defeated them again. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Yes, very good. Um, hold and go back and keep doing stuff. Um, home, uh, one random agency upgrade. I kind of want to wait for that stuff. We're still going to do stuff over here. I'll be honest, I can't remember what I read earlier. So, we did a lot of this stuff already. Which is pretty nice, to be honest. Just, just being honest now. We're also justifying on, um, sure, I'm to start this up, but backbone of the army. The army. The largest component of the military and the primary defender of the nation is currently hindered by a crippling crutch. The majority of the weapons our troops have access to are outdated and barely functioning at best. Arms are the foundation on which a good army is built. And ours must be up to par. We want to have our army to have any semblance of efficacy. efficacy. So, got a lot of PP too. Trade with Skyfall? Might as well. They should accept, so. Uh, we could use more consumer goods, but let's see. They should respond, but let's see. Oh, well, they didn't accept. Look at that. They declined. Upsettingly, it seems that the trade of Skyfall did not wish to engage just in trade. Come back when you're a little mm, richer. Well, okay. Their loss. Wow, I didn't, uh, is that the first time I've actually been rejected by them? I think it is. Uh, what are you missing? Trains? Oh, well, I guess we'll do trains. See these trains. Trains are critical for ensuring the smooth flow of material to the front. It appears apparent that our, our production levels are falling to demand. As messy it may be, it is necessary for us to see some civilian trains in order to bolster our supply network. New artillery types? Artillery has advanced as much since the days of single gunpowder or simple gunpowder cannons. Unfortunately, our military seems to have slept on this development and our forces are now desperately lacking firepower. In order to rectify this, we'll invest in the development of more advanced and varied art artillery technology. But just in case, before we try to assault enemy fortifications with outdated guns and whatnot, we have a cup of coffee here. And let's save. So, someone says, uh, Nice start. When you're done with the rest of the nations with the national focuses, you should play as Chapter again. But. I said, I have a question you go into civil wars of the Lunar Empire so you can play with a new focus tree. That's true. Uh, so else, the same person says, um, another path I'd like to see is a Griff King. We play his long sword, go to the communists and win the civil war, do the conversion and don't purge the Noja uh, Griffonia movement, and do the coup and don't confront Pauvner so you can play as a Golden Morning. That's very complicated. Um, you have to remind me about doing that one. So Someone says, Among Us Imposters. Someone says, A fun nation is the legation city of Wingardum. Which you can get most easily by playing fascist wing body. Sending a quest to go harmless and not get the civil war and cult aid to go struggle with Zarka keeping control. And getting involved with the North Zebrican War. Well, I think the only insane fascist neutral successful legation city paths are completely right right now. Also make sure, wing, make sure wing body isn't too strongly attack switch since you're going to fight them at the very end. So else is going to do Zarantia next? Uh, probably. So, uh, what happens if we do go to war with these guys? Is that a smart idea? There's still a war with the changelings for now, which is actually really good. It's a good time for the good war. Wow. Rockefeller, huh? They are doing... They're doing all right over here. Um... What if we were to go to war? They don't even have enough division of the border. So... So with that in mind, we can raise conscription level at the very least, right? Um, you know, can, uh, yeah. All right, mount, mount, boys. Fast to destroy those pegasus out of the bed of the mountain wakes. Oh yes, this is definitely not how I expected this campaign to go with us actually, us declaring war on Terra. So yeah. Uh, oh, we probably want to stop printing our ships. I mean, we don't like we have like two, three. Not very good, but whatever. There you go. Nice. See what you can do. Breaking over rivers and mountains and stuff is kind of a pain in the butt, as we all know, but whatever. War bonds, war propaganda. We got enough political power for pretty much all this stuff here. Um, yeah, we've just been waiting to go to war for a while. We got enough political power every day. Let's go to war economy, too. Applied artillery experience. Nice. Even better artillery. Yes, please. Six divisions there. That's pretty radical. Not going to. Oh, they died. Nice. Well, we are very lucky so far in this campaign, and I'm, I'm kind of loving it. Can't win everywhere, but my god, when they do force defense, like, having superior firepower is just so freaking strong. We've killed off 71,000. We're taking 10,000, 11,000 casualties. Pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. Backbone of the army. Seize the strange boys and girls. Griffs and no griffs. Ponies. What are we getting? Yes. Look at that. Three divisions. Go bye-bye. Yes, please. Let's 
Support weapons, nice. We need more manpower, of course, but what else is new? I'll get that stuff, too. I mean, for defense, man. I mean, I, I would do it, too, if I were here, because you're going to lose the divisions anyways, but whatever. Land out attack, yes, please. Technology, yes. Keep harassing them for now. Um, I want to... Oh, hello. Oh, it must be out of infantry equipment, then. A uh, new Ayakachak... I, I always say his name. Ayakachli. There you go. Just kind of get go to where you need to go. Hold the line. Get a few more guns. We've got plenty of artillery, which is really nice. Hello. Oh, boy. There's a combo. It's all right. Get some more planning done. Um, these guys have what left? A couple thousand manpower. Pony power. Still mobilizing, thank God. And we have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm as well, thank God. Oh, what would I do without my caffeine addiction? It's an addiction I can stop whenever I want. Concentrator forces, maybe. Yeah. They are forcing defense. And that's just for the tanks, though. It looks like it doesn't look like it's for the tanks. Season train, yes, please. Nice. Very nice. Oh. Smash, smash, smash. And mechanized spear? Sure. Mechanized vehicles are an excellent way to augment our military's capable uh, fighting capabilities, since they are more maneuverable than tanks, but are better defended than normal trucks. Investing in them will prove to be a great boon to our troops. Nice. Uh, have they had enough time here? Probably not, in all honesty. Here, do it too. My goal is just to destroy their infantry. Well, the council only says sucks. Destroy that map. Oh, I don't know where they stopped. Alright, so now this should be just kind of easy peasy. Getting it from four sides. Can't, can't quite pierce them yet, but we'll work on it. It does take a while to take those guys down. They do have anti air in their divisions, though, which is not good for us, but whatever. Force it. You're going to take it no matter what. So, we'll see. Nice. We want it, we'll take it. Finally, this blood's been subdued. Uh. Uh. What, what? Okay, there we go. Thanks, everybody, we'll take them. Oh, these guys are still killing each other, too. Huh. Well, alright. Puerto Caballo. Caballo. Alright, let's go and train these guys as well. Very nice job, everybody. Um, lunar Empire. Oh, that's the Lunar Empire. I thought that was someone else's. Local autonomy, that'd be nice. Good. Get some more output first. Mechanized spear, I guess. Um. All right. Well. One of the following must be true. Expand the diplomatic corps as we venture forth onto the international stage. We must ensure that our interests are represented in the best, very best possible ways. In order to guarantee this, we must expand our corps of diplomats and ambassadors. All right, uh, and peaceful peace abroad. In order to survive, ensure our survival, we must reach out towards foreign governments with similar ideals and make sure every effort to secure friendly relations, so that no harm shall come from our nation's borders. Peace at home. In these trying times, we must ensure the nation remains unified and stable, lest we give our enemies an easy opening with which to tear us apart. And you're on every street corner, or every street. We must expand our intelligence network in order to better protect against any potential threats from both within and without. Well, save all the high-level stuff. Well, I guess not that a lot of high-level stuff there is here. Any partisans, why not? Do that. Here. Do that. Better already. Some anti tanky. Mechanized spear, nice. Um, yeah. Might as well.
Dear friends. Hmm. Oh, emergency measure training. Defense, ask for recruits, ask for equipment. Well, if you want to read about these, please go right ahead, because I guess technically we we don't need to do this since Sheriff Terra is already dead and we literally didn't lose a single province. Bit of evacuations. I'll be honest, I did not set this up like this at all. Um, like, I did not expect us to actually need to try to fight Cheer Up Terra. Like, we had to, we had to justify on them, so. Um, backbone of the airports? No, as deep as the army of the Navy, the airports is token the best, and we barely be capable of guarding our skies. We must promote the development of new fighter plane models so that our airports may be more, may be more capably defending the nation from aerial assault. Naval bombers. With well, limited resources and even more limited fuel reserves, it's clear that we cannot win in conventional naval warfare, but we may be able to give ourselves an edge by utilizing the air. We should have designed aircraft capable of operating over water and dealing heavy damage to naval vessels in order to guarantee victory at sea. Uh, rapid heavy industry. Our current production rates are simply not sufficient to deal with the demands of a proper modern military. If we want any chance of fielding an effective fighting force, this must be corrected and quickly. Our best shot at achieving this is to swiftly construct new industrial developments that will augment our military production. Pretty much, man, pretty much. Motorizing logistics. Logistics are crucial for guaranteeing the success of our army. We can never allow them to fall behind. Thus, we must ensure the steady and rapid flow of supplies to the front line by employing trucks and supply convoys, as well as the speed will prove very useful in the rapid development of biosupplies. supplies. Experiment with CAS. While fighters clear the air of enemy aircraft, we must also actively support our troops fighting on the ground. By developing new aircraft models capable of supporting our army and ground operations, we can greatly increase the chance of victory. Uh, testing tactical bombers. While our air force is capable of fighting on its front itself, it does not currently possess the means to operate behind enemy lines. If we can field a force capable of damaging enemy infrastructure, infrastructure and manufacturing, we can increase the chances of victory back on the front. And here we are at everybody. The Carthaginian Republic declared war on the United Kingdom's of Aris, so we joined in. Um, we're doing the backbone of the Navy, though. Although not as powerful as it once was, the Warzenian Navy is still the guardian of our waters, protecting merchants and allowing them to safely engage in trade. It's crucial that we look at improving our screens so that our Navy may continue to protect our shores, modernize destroyers. For much of our modern history, destroyers have composed the bulk of the Warzenian's Navy tonnage. Even today, they form the majority of our fleet. And unfortunately, they have not been able to devote enough resources to keep them off snuff, leaving our fleet burdened by obsolete ships. This must be addressed as soon as possible if we wish to continue fielding effective Navy. Undersea blockade. As technology advances and naval warfare evolves, it's become more apparent than ever that subs are a crucial linchpin of modern marine combat. Able to strike at enemy convoys and vessels from out of sight, investing into a sub flotilla is crucial for guaranteeing our future success at sea. So, we, we went to war with them. We're right to war with Zarantara. We'll take whatever we can, like a maybe small little piece of territory, but... I didn't realize that we can't go to war with them because they were both, we're both harmonists, so... And they have an aggression pact with their faction leader, which sucks. That really sucks. Oh my god, that really, 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 really sucks. So, that's gonna really suck to do. So, yeah. You know what? I wanna make this look really ugly. I'm gonna take this. I want this. So it's going to take some time for us to get Ogs hot, so... Other than that, I mean, this campaign's been going by very quickly. I do apologize about all the clicking and stuff like that, but... Yeah, I don't know. This is the first time playing Warzena. We got very, very lucky with how um, things turned out for us, basically. There you go. Oh, you can't do that yet? Oh, come on, man. Oh, Zinder's worth a lot. So they can have all that. I'm going to take uh, Ogs hot because... Why not? And I apologize once again for the clicking. If you want to skip ahead in the, like a minute into the video, perhaps you might want to do that. But we'll quickly get this. Even though we, we are the ones who took out Zinder. It is what it is. Whatever. Um, and we're almost there. Let's take that first. How much score do they need for this? Oh my god. Why do they need... You know what? I'm just going to take this too. Screw it. There you go. They have a soft underbelly. I want you to go tickle them. Go. Tickle. 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 If you can. These guys are trying to break through here. Um, we've lost about a 1,300. They've lost about... Eh, that's not bad. Overall, not bad. How big are these divisions again? I always forget. Oh. Well, 18 combo with. They don't even have engineers on them. Do we have support equipment? Yeah, we do. Um, I'm going to double check. Just go and do that. Uh, Former department, which is nice. Level 5... 5 8 commando training, maybe. Spy master, yes, please. Cryptology, yes. Oh, hello. Someone trying to kneeling beat them? Oh, yeah. Oh! Atslan Federation. There's Lunar Dominion changing hegemony on taunt. There's Middle Sea Treat up there with us as well. Better radar's nice. More coordination, even coordination. I don't think it's a great set to continue just trying to improve. It's so important, but not super important. Everything's important, but if everything is important, then nothing's important, right? Right. 
Growthage. Growthage. Nice. Manpower, quite a few divisions left. Uh, do that one too if you really want to. Backbone of the Navy. Vic Money can't buy victory. Destroyers are nice. Um, we have enough manpower for now. Cast would be very nice to have too. Fighter 2, let's grab that cast. Nice, very nice, 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 nice. The front line's definitely been pushed forward. Very good. Um, don't worry about concentrate your forces a little bit more as well. Storm King's heir. One more day. Smoocher. Modern destroyers and expanded diplomats and trade, which is very nice. Keep making those civvies, infrastructure. We almost have the city itself. Empire Strikes Back. Wow. Falkorian Realm, huh? Gabriel de Artiglio. Oh, it's even been further cut off. We just can't take it for some reason. We can get all the way over here, though. Go figure. Come on. Come on, we're almost there. Lost 21,000 versus 31. Yay, a Falco Thag. Nice, finish him off here. And over there as well. I see blockade. Increased naval output, although we have yet managed to improve the quality of our navy in recent years. Those efforts will all be in vain if we have no means of actually building new models and retrofitting obsolete ones. As such, it is proven that we expand our naval production via the construction of new dockyards. Nice. Nimbusia. Very nice. So these guys are done all the way. Eh, they're done. They're done over there. They're done over here. Honestly, like... Uh, even though the thumbnail has us annexing Tobuk, I wish they didn't go harmonious. Think of all that. All right then. Well, it looks like we might have used some cons commands for this stuff. Oh, reach out to Zarantians. Uh, Warzenin's current standing with Zarantian can be described as tenuous at best, as Warzenin's and Imazibs have butted heads several times during the past century. But the existential threat posed by Jupiter has deemed it necessary to cast aside our old animosities in favor of cooperation, so that both nations can be free. Why do we need to be free? We already made sure that we're free. Um, here we go through this one. Keep shoving them down. I love shoving people down. Stairs, no. Um, the buck and resistance. Resistance. Although Toad Buck is never partially fallen, or particularly fallen of a rule, they despite their current occupiers even more, or spies them. In order to hamper our enemy's operations, we must aid the local resistance movements in any way possible, in order to cause as much disruption to the enemy as possible. This is the meaning of context. As fellow Zonikins, Zonicians, yes, we, Zonicians, where Zen has always had an am I I cannot pronounce anything, can I? Amiable relations with the Zumidians of the North. Now, united against a common enemy, our ties have grown even stronger and closer. Using our connections, we should be able to secure up secure several Zumidian groups in order to supplement our armed forces. I can totally speak right now. Oh my goodness. Um, the spoils of war. The defeat of Chirrup Terra and her allies, though cause for celebration, has opened several questions, namely considering the occupied territories we should move to resolve these as quickly as possible so that our new tensions doesn't have time to grow and rear their ugly heads. So, yeah, huh. We'll see about that. And I guess that's pretty much it for the Kingdom of Orzena for this type of path. So, I guess we're going to end it here. Um, it's been really fun. I, this is definitely not what I expected. I'm sure it's not what you expected either for this campaign, but hey, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great, great rest of your day.